Thanks for visiting our channel and please subscribe our channel for more interesting videos. So you have seen the title, so let's begin our topic. Wuhan, the city in China where the virus first originated, is now facing another calamity that's massive floods. The city of Wuhan declared red alerts on Friday on July as heavy rain threatened to swell the rivers and lakes and bring more disruption across Wuhan city and warned its residents to take precautions as water level fast approached their maximum guaranteed safety levels. Till Saturday, calamity hasn't spared the supermarket, shop and streets and 8 people have lost their lives to the flood in Wuhan now. The first question comes to your mind that floods are common. They occur regularly because of natural causes and it may be a coincidence that both virus and flood brought disaster to Wuhan city. You are thinking is right. That's what lot of people are thinking around the world. But there are questions being raised whether the flooding in Wuhan is it natural or not. The simple answer will be no because many reports suggest that the flooding in Wuhan city and its direct consequence of a heavy discharge of water from the reservoirs around 370 kilometers away from Wuhan city from three gorgeous dams in the district of Yiling which was releasing flood waters according to Chinese authorities the dams were in the verge of collapse forcing the authorities to release the water but after hearing all this the last question you will have in your mind whether the Chinese government will kill its own people and destroy Wuhan city. The question is obvious one. So some activists claimed that this was undertaken intentionally and that Chinese authorities are deliberately flooding cities in Hubei province to destroy all the evidence against China and its role in the virus pandemic which was left behind in Wuhan. It was done because a World Health Organization team was scheduled to visit China on second week of July to investigate the origin of the virus and they intended to probe how zoonotic virus jumped from animals to humans. This theory slightly proves that the flooding was intentional but the reality is unknown. So what do you think? Is it intentional or natural flooding? Write in the comments. That's it for today's video. Please subscribe our channel for more interesting videos and don't forget to watch our other videos.